Uh, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6, and it reads, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, and see that you be not troubled, for all these things must first come to pass, but the end is not yet. Matthew 24, and verse 7, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. <clears throat> and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory. Number two, take a have one by Hashem. Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, or Kadash. And the Heavenly Father's true name is El Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, by Hashem, in the name of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwan Kadash, the Holy Tongue. Shalom to the elders, Wa'akim, Wa'akwa, and I say Shalom. And this is a uh, news article, sit down lesson that I want to bring out from RT.com as of November 8th, 2023, and it reads, U.S. launch new self-defense strike in Syria, uh, Pentagon. The latest bombing has run, has hit a facility used by the Iranian-backed groups. The uh, U.S. military claims <clears throat> The U.S. President Joe Biden has ordered an airstrike against a weapons deposit depot in Syria that allegedly used by the Iranian Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. And I remember I did a lesson, I would say like about an hour ago, when you had the Israeli Defense Force, they launched airstrikes over there in Syria as well too, which is run by the uh, pro-Iranian groups as well too. Because you got the United States and uh, Israel, which is allies with one another. Because they have the same common enemy, which is the, uh, the pro-Iranian groups. So keep that in mind. It says, this is a uh, alleged used by the Iran's Islamic Revolution, Revolutionary Guard Corps, which is the IRGC and the affiliated groups. Marking Washington's latest response to drones and rocket attacks on its bases right because i remember uh it was i would say like two days ago i did a sit down lesson uh mentioning with the uh it was like uh eight eight brand new attacks of the uh pro-iranian groups was targeting uh military air, air bases what the uh, american soldiers were stationed at in iraq and syria as well too as of last friday all the way into monday according to a report from CNN.com. Keep that in mind as well, too. And this is a brand new self-defense, uh, I mean, self-defense uh, airstrike was ordered by Joe Biden once again. And it says the, uh, I'm reading again, it says U.S. President Joe Biden has ordered an airstrike against a weapon deposit in Syria that is allegedly used by Iran's Islamic Revolution Revolutionary Guard Corps, the IRGC, and affiliated groups marking Washington's latest response to drone and rocket attack on its bases in the region. It says the two US F-15 fire jets carry out the latest airstrikes on Wednesday in eastern Syria. The Pentagon said in a statement it followed the strikes in the same region on October the 26th. Again, the Iranian-backed military groups that Washington has blamed for the attacks on its bases. Illegal U.S. outposts in Syria and military bases in Iraq has came under attack at least 38 times since October 17th, reflecting rising tensions in the region, amending the Israel Hamas war. Tyran has repeatedly warned that various regional forces won't sit idle and that new fronts will be open if Washington continues to support Israel in its bombing of Gaza. It says at least 45 U.S. troops has been injured in the drone and rocket attacks in October the 18th attack on the Al Hassan Air Base in Iraq led in the death of a U.S. contractor who died while sheltering in place. The United States is full prepared to take further necessary measures to protect our people and our facilities. The Pentagon said we are urged against any escalations. The U.S. troops has illegally occupied the oil the oil-rich region in northern Syria since 2014. 
unstamable to fight the Islamic State, the IS, which is formerly known as ISIS, if you know what I mean. But continuing on, it says the occupation has continued despite the defeat of the uh, groups by Russian, U.S., Syrian, and Iran, Iranian forces in the territory under Damascus control. It's the book of uh, Matthew 24 and verse 6, when you again, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See, that should be not trouble for all these things must first come to pass, but the end is not yet. So with that, hopefully this uh, news article was edifying of this recent uh, news article as a sit down lesson from November the 8th, 2023. As it says again, U.S. launches a new self-defense strike in Syria, Pentagon reports. The latest bombing runs has hit a facility by the Iranian-backed groups, U.S. military claims. And these are the same military uh, prox Iranian proxy groups, which is allies with Iran, which they are pro-Iranian groups that they've been targeting the United States soldiers uh, that's been stationed in these bases in uh, Syria and Iraq as well, too ever since October the 17th and all the way to now. So both sides been escalating between one another. The pro-Iranian group side and the self-defense airstrikes uh, Joe Biden been authorized to use to defend their self and self-defense. So with that, hopefully this uh, lesson was uh, edifying. And with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Karkadash, Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'aki and Wa'akwaf, and I say Shalom. And once again, the Heavenly Father's true name is uh, Yahweh. It is only begotten Son, Ba'ashem, in the name of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo-Hebrew, the Lashwankadash, the Holy Tongue. And until next time, I will say Shalom.